Hi, and uh, welcome to the next video in the series. Uh, we'll crack straight on with the first of 10 that we're going to look at in this particular video. Um, and that's Maisie Williams. Um, she's probably best known, or people probably recognize Maisie most of all from um, her role as Arya Stark in the Game of Thrones TV series. Um, um, she's also recently been seen in the Doctor Who series uh, as the character Me. Um, she's a, an actress who's going from strength to strength, I think. She's, she's sort of um, appearing in lots of fairly um, substantial shows, you know, Game of Thrones and Doctor Who. So I was really pleased to get this autograph from her. Um, <clears throat> as it's not a picture I sent myself, it is one of her pre-signed pictures. Um, I don't know about the validity of the personalization in the corner. I think most likely that's been added on afterwards, but certainly the autograph is is authentic. So, so really pleased with this one from Maisie. Um, again, this is one of the actresses who I'd probably think about writing to again uh, down the line, and probably putting in some of my own pictures to to see if I can get her to sign. I guess the difficulty is a lot of the time she's away out of the country filming Game of Thrones, um, and also you know her stock is growing so certainly it's going to be harder to get autographs on from her um in in the near future so if you're going to write to Maisie certainly now is the time to do so uh, again address for Maisie um I, I got through fanmail.biz uh the next is a, a double autograph it's it's Ray Galton and Alan Simpson um for those who don't know they're basically tv screenwriters they wrote lots of very very um um, popular and, and influential TV shows of the sort of 60s, 70s and 80s um, in the UK. Things like Steptoe and Son, um, the Hancock series, etc. Um, and I actually never really thought of writing to these guys, although they're somebody I always wanted you know, to, to get in touch with and get an autograph from it. The thought never really popped into my head. And so I was watching a show about their work recently um, and they interviewed their agent on the show and I realised they actually had the same agent so I popped them a, a letter in the post and got this aut awesome autograph back and as I say it's signed by, by Alan Simpson and Ray Galton um, and you know pr pr best known as Galton and Simpson uh, pretty much um, you know the the screenwriters of, of that particular era in British television so that's a really cool autograph to have from them. Uh, the next autograph is Linnea Quigley uh, Linnea is probably best known for um, Return of the Living Dead. Um, she's There's a particular scene in Return of the Living Dead where she's dancing in a graveyard. For those who've seen it, you'll know exactly the scene I'm talking about. She also did films like Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, ba basically lots of sort of um, uh, screen queeny, B-movie, horror, schlocky type films. But she's a brilliant actress and she does some, she's done some great stuff. I sent her this picture. Um, I'm hoping somebody who's watching this video might be able to help because I'm having a bit of a problem in understanding what one of the words is in the letter she sent me or in the picture she signed. She's but Carl, love and something linear. Now I'm, it looks like sesame or I'm, I'm not, <laughs> it can't be sesame. I have no idea what that word is, but if somebody can help let me know that's great. Um, I wrote to her agent in the US. I emailed her agent first of all to check that she was. Um, uh, happy for people to write to her and, and ask for autographs and she said that was absolutely fine as long as you did the usual sender letter return envelope postage etc which I did um, and it was really cool because I also got this this little letter in with it as well um, from Linnea sort of promoting her, her um, website but also wishing me a happy holidays and saying that um, I made her day with my letter which is which is really nice um, so yeah really cool and nice to get something from from an American actress um, I'm a huge horror fan as those who watch my early videos will know so to get this back from Linnea was, was fantastic. Uh, the next autographs is two actually. It's um, the absolutely awesome Dame Judy Dench. Judy's been in a lot of stuff over the years, um, but probably most recently best known as M in the Bond series. Um, I actually sent Dame Judy an email request via her agent for a signed picture. Um, if you go onto fanmail.biz, you'll be able to see the email address there. It's it's fairly well known in the collecting world. Um, so I sent Dame Judy a pic, uh, an, an autograph request, and I got the James Bond picture that you can see here signed back by Dame Judy. And then, surprisingly but fantastically, um, about a month later, out of the blue, um, in my in my post box appeared a second picture. Um, signed by Dame Judy, so that was really cool. So I've actually got two two pictures signed by Dame Judy Dench. Um, 
the autographs look very authentic. There is there is a little bit of chatter about the possibility of being secretarial, but I, I I don't think that's the case. I think they're they're really nice and basically Dame Judy just loves her fans and she's a fantastic woman, so yeah, really cool to got this from her and I'm very, very happy to add this to my to my sort of bond collection. Um, the next autograph's really cool. I mean, as as I've mentioned just just a few seconds ago, I'm a huge, huge horror fan, and one of my one of my absolute favourite films is is the film Cannibal Holocaust. Um, very, very controversial film for those who've seen it. Even if you've not seen it, you probably know about it if you if you have an an ounce of knowledge about film. Um, and I was trying to find a way to write to the stars of Cannibal Holocaust, and just fell. <laughs> felt really badly in terms of finding addresses for anybody. Um, I wrote to the director of the film, never heard anything back. In fact, I think I had a return to sender for that. Um, so I did a bit of snooping around online and um, after a little while actually discovered uh, an address for Francesca Tiardi. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Um, she played Faye Daniels in Cannibal Holocaust, the figure you can see in the back of the picture um, on the screen there. Um, and I discovered she actually lives in the UK now. Um, and still does occasional film work. So I popped a letter in the post to Francesca um, um, asking for an autograph and she sent me back this fantastic picture which I absolutely love. It's a signed Cannibal Holocaust picture. It's her picture she provided which is amazing. Um, so so pleased with that. So yeah, um, really nice good quality still image from the film um, and very very pleased to have got that back from Francesca so that's cool as it was a private address I sent to um, I don't want people bombarding a private address so um, you know if you want to do what I did and search around online I'm sure you may be able to find an address for her but um, unfortunately I can't give you any details for this one as to how to get in touch uh, the next autograph I've got is probably from somebody unknown to anybody outside the UK or below the age of 30 in the UK. Uh, it's Bob Carroll Gees, who um, was UK, an 80s UK comedy entertainer. His, his main act essentially was he had a puppet called Spit the Dog. You can see Spit in the picture there. Um, and it was a dog that used to spit at people. I mean, he didn't actually spit at them, but... You know that was that was his that was essentially that was his his comedy act, um, and I was in a little bit of a phase at this point where I was collecting the 80s autographs, so the Kenny Lynch and the Des O'Connor and that sort of stuff. So I had to get Bob as well. Um, Bob's long since retired from entertainment, as long as far as I know. He actually runs a um, candle shop in the UK now. So I sent a contact request via the candle shop website and um, got this autograph back. It's two Carl from Bob Carol G's and Spit. So Spit signed it as well. <laughs> awesome. Um, so yeah, so that was quite cool. So that's Bob Carroll, geez. Um, and another one I sent an email for is um, this one here, which is Penn and Teller. Um, most people know Penn and Teller. They are TV magicians, um, very much sort of subversive and um, controversial TV magicians. I sent an email request via their website. There is actually on their website, which I've linked to on my on my blog. Um, there is a, a page on there to request an autograph from them. So I sent an autograph request. It took quite a while. It took about a year or so, I think. But got this pretty cool pen and teller um, signed picture in the post from them. So yeah, that that was that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to pause the video there a second. And um, the next autograph is is actually one that I had bought for me. Um, a friend got this for me for Christmas. It's from Eileen Daly. She actually sells um, her autographs via her sites. This was purchased via um, Eileen's website, which for some reason I haven't linked to on here, but you, you can type her name in online and find her, her website fairly fairly easily and see where you can aut buy autographs from. Um, Eileen's best known for things like All About Anna, uh, Raised Blade Smile, and a number of other mostly horror films. Um, she's probably known to some people recently for doing The X Factor, um, she was she was on the X Factor and got fairly far in that, um, so so that was that was quite cool. I think she may have done Big Brother, Celebrity Big Brother as well last year, possibly. I'm not quite sure, um, but um, yeah, she's she's essentially a screen queen. She's been doing a lot of horror films for most of her life, so this was quite a nice item for for my friend to get me. Um, it it is actually the only item, pretty much on the entire blog that I haven't bought or. Um, sent off for myself. This is pretty much the only item that somebody else has got me. Um, but yeah, nice autograph there from, from Eileen Daly. Uh, and the next one is David Koshner. Uh, David's fairly recognisable. I think most people recognise him. He was in the Anchorman and the second Anchorman film. He was also in the US version of The Office as well. Um, I sent an email to his agent and got this in the post uh, a few months later. It's quite cool. It says to Carl Whammy. 
David Kushner. Um, yeah, and it's fairly easy to find his details online. Go to fanmail.biz basically and type in David Kushner, and you'll see um, you'll see the list of all of the um, a, a, um, replies that people have had, and also the contact um, email address to send an email to his agent. But that's pretty cool. And the last one for this video because we've hit the 10 minute mark already and I'm trying not to bore you, is um, Jen and Sylvia Soska. The Soska twins, they're known as, um, they're basically directors, but also actresses as well. They directed films like Dead Hooker in a Trunk, um, American Mary, excuse me, American Mary, See No Evil 2. Um, this is really cool. I actually purchased this from their website. They do sell their autographs online. Um, and actually, I, I really love the picture. I think it's absolutely superb. Um, signed by both of them, but you know, it's not just a signature. They've actually gone, to, gone taken the time to write a fairly detailed bit of information as well. Um, you know, um, thanking me from the bottom of their twisted hearts for all the work I've done. Basically, I do. I, I run a film blog as well, um, part time. I do a little film blogging, and I blogged about a few of their films, which they've they've added on their own web pages and retweeted and whatnot. So, so as well as buying this picture from them, they also wrote a good bit of information and they sent me a Christmas card with it as well, which was really cool. You can see here um, where they mentioned the blog as well. So yeah, really, really nice. And I, and I really recommend these, are, these are upcoming directors. And I mean, they're, I can only see bigger and better things for these two through the years. So if you if you want to get an autograph, get to their website and purchase it. It's really good value, and I think it'll be one that'll be a real collector's item down the line as they are just getting bigger and bigger in the directing world. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video there. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that, and um, I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cheers.